Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about a term called punctuated equilibrium. Now, you probably heard this name or may not, but uh, in this case, we'll be seeing what exactly is punctuated equilibrium. Now, you can hear this name as punctuated equilibrium or as punctuated equilibria, whatever, whatever you heard about this. What is uh, this punctuated equilibria? Now, uh, the simple thing about it is that this is a kind of evolutionary biology theory. That means it is a theory to explain how evolution actually works. Now, there are two different types of models that we have nowadays uh, for evolution. Two models supported by many different evidences, but none of them is established as fact. Okay, because we still need to gather some more evidences for both of them. First is called as a gradualism, which is older theory. Uh, the inventor of the theory gradualism was Charles Darwin. And second one is the punctuated equilibrium, which is developed much later uh, than the Darwin's theory. Both of the theory work together nowadays. Even many scientists believe that evolution may occur by both of them working together. Now, what are those facts? Let's talk about it uh, in a moment. In a very basic way, what we can say is that gradualism is telling us that uh, that evolution is taking place uh, slowly, very, very slowly for a long time, and and uh, and what we have, you have an ancestor and then from that ancestor an, an individual will come, then from that an ancestor another individual will come and so on. This is called gradualism and if I draw a graph, a tree of gradualism and how organisms originated, it will look something like this, begin with one ancestor and multiple individuals originate. And in this case, if you see the genetic content of, uh, the, of the offspring will always be same uh, like their ancestor. So, so they are of same species. Uh, the, the species of ancestor will be same as species, uh, species of offspring is same as the species of their ancestor. But if you look at here in case of um, in case of the second one, which is punctuated equilibrium, the idea is that uh, this process works in a different way. See, this is gradualism theory where you see uh, rapid change and uh, not rapid is very small, very slow and delayed process over time where punctuated equilibrium is telling us that for a long period of time, for a stretch of time in evolution, there are no changes in the environment or no change in the uh, in organism. Now after that there is a sudden change coming and this is a point from sudden change. Once the sudden change comes in, it creates a different species, completely different species. And this punctuated equilibrium is telling us how species evolved over the time. And it is telling us that from one ancestor it produces different species and from that ancestor another different species. So this is the idea of, of uh, punctuated equilibrium is that for a stretch of time during evolution nothing will happen, everything remains constant, conserved for a while, then again a sudden change in environment uh, affect uh, the change uh, in the morphology of the individual to get a different species. Then again it will remain for some time as, as it is, no change in equilibrium, then again it's changed. So this is the idea of punctuated equilibrium in the first place here. Okay, so let's move on. So see here, uh, for, for better understanding, if I take the example of two things, one is called the anagenesis and cladogenesis. These are the two terms you should know. Anagenesis means uh, simply a one ancestor, from the ancestor an offspring develops. So see the species kind of same, the genetic content is very, very similar with it. While cladogenesis means there will be an ancestor and from that ancestor it branched twice. I mean, this is one offspring, this is another offspring and there are two different types. So these are the difference between anagenesis and cladogenesis. Now gradualism, uh, gradualism explain uh, works with anagenesis theory that means from the ancestor it produces offspring in a linear fashion while cladogenesis uh, is the explanation for punctuated equilibrium because in punctuated equilibrium you know from an ancestor different branches uh, will occur and as soon as 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 long as the environment will be kept in that uh, equilibrium condition that is a constant condition uh, the ancestor will remain as it is okay so this is the idea behind it okay Next, okay. see this is the basic definition for punctuated equilibrium if you see. This theory holds that the evolutionary change is concentrated in speciation events uh, and that's true because you know whatever speciation we observe and see uh, that is linked 
with this kind of thing linked with the punctuated equilibrium because it produces different species from one ancestor species 1 species 2 both prepared for species z here so this is the theory now most species remain pretty much the same once uh, they have come into the being right and uh, normally uh, the speciation events are confined to smaller populations right as uh, these isolated populations are small and transient we should not expect to find them for, as a fossil record but the thing is in this case uh, when we find a fossil we can say that in punctuated equilibrium theory it will remain as it is for a duration of time until and unless there is a change in the environment which force that organism to change itself in morphology as well as physiology to produce a different species. So that is the idea behind punctuated equilibrium. And these are the rules uh, for the punctuated equilibrium theory, the advanced rules is say that the paleontology should be informed by neontology, most speciation is uh, cladogenesis rather than anagenesis, that is why uh, I talked before that they are kind of cladogenesis in nature not anagenesis, most speciation occurs through peripatric speciation mode and, uh, and so on, there are multiple things out there, I am not going to talk about each of them but once uh, you know the idea of uh, punctuated equilibrium you, you see what where we are going with it and if you see here this is the, the example of punctuated equilibrium graph. That you see it begins with, let me take a color here, yes, it begins with here the time in x axis and the evolution in y axis. If you put these things here, you see the from time along with time evolution obviously works with the time. So it will move like that. If it is a, uh, if it is a gradual evolution, it will occur something like this straight kind of thing. But in this case, it's you see that once a species is developed, the ancestor species is developed. It will remain as it is for some time, it will stay there for some time while the environment was stable in nature. But when the environment becomes less stable, then only they have a sudden change and this change is denoted by this peak that we see. Again after this change, again there will be some part of stable environment, again a sudden change, then again stable environment, sudden change in environment. So it is a kind of staircase model uh, that we can see, the rapid change in environment uh, will definitely shift everything and a new organism, new species will come in. So this is the idea behind the punctuated equilibrium. And this is an example of punctuated equilibrium you see here the panda, two different examples of panda is given and they are originated from a, see the common ancestor here and you, this is a cladogram you can, or, you can see the origin, this is the common ancestor from this ancestor two points, two branches. It remains uh, at equilibrium for some time, then rapid change, two branches, again more branches and so by this way it produces uh, different uh, types of the offspring, different types of species from one common ancestor and that is how the things work. So uh, nowadays actually both of the theories are present, gradualism as well as uh, the punctuated equilibrium. But the thing is, it, it depends on uh, what kind of scenario it is because in some evolution process we can explain better with gradualism. In other cases, in some experiment, uh, we can explain those fossil results and all the stuff better with a punctuated equilibrium. But punctuated equilibrium is more modern theory involving very new research and all these approaches, but still none of them are completely proven in that fact. So uh, some scientists nowadays, they believe to think that both of these processes uh, devote themselves for uh, the development and for the evolution process in for, for different organisms. So those two things work together uh, for the evolution. So maybe it may be the truth but uh, none of them are actually established as a fact. So that is it guys, if you like the video please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button to get more and more videos, thank you.